Of course, you should have a proper first aid kit on hand in your shop. Hello there, fellow maker. Welcome down to my shop. I'm Bill, and today we're going to talk about one of my very favorite adhesives, super glue. Whether you call it CA glue or cyanoacrylate or crazy glue or just plain super glue, it's all generally the same stuff. And you can find super glue all over the world in a plethora of varieties. And yes, I collect super glue from around the world. Everyone needs a hobby. I usually get mine at my local hobby shop. They have several brands there, but I really like this stuff here. It's branded Hobby Town, but this is the Bob Smith Industries Super Glue. They make theirs in a variety of thicknesses, which can be helpful depending on your particular application. The blue bottle here is super, super thin. I don't use this very much because it tends to get everywhere, but if you need to sneak a little bit of glue into a really thin spot, this is awesome. I tend to prefer this medium gap filling variety right here. Of course, you want to make sure you pick up some of this stuff. This is Uncure and this will remove super glue for those times when you might have glued something together improperly or whenever you glue yourself to your work. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this stuff is, but I can confirm that it will strip paint off of most things. So if you're using this on a finished prop, make sure you're super careful about where it goes. While you're at the hobby shop, make sure you get some of this spray activator or accelerator or whatever it is they call it for your particular brand. When you glue something together, this spray will cause the super glue to cure nearly instantly. On a tip from my friend Vertfixen, I went and got this tiny little bottle here with a very fine metal tip and I filled the bottle with some of that activator. This way when I'm gluing things up and I just want a tiny little bit of the activator, I can apply it with this bottle instead of spraying it with the spray bottle and hosing the entire area. Now I know some people prefer these tinier bottles of super glue. The idea here is that by the time you've used all of this super glue, the tip has become all crusty and you just throw the whole thing away. I actually went and picked up some spare tips for my super glue bottles. So when the end of this bottle gets all crusty and unusable, I just unscrew it and put on a fresh tip. Inevitably, your cap will no longer fit. You can see mine here just kind of rests on there. It's not doing me any good like that. What I'll actually do is grab a pin and put that down in the cap of the bottle there. That'll keep it plugged up for when I'm not using it. And then when it's time to glue again, I can pull that out. Good to go. Back to these little bottles, uh, I do actually keep a bunch of these on hand, obviously, but I keep them in my cosplay repair kit unopened. Then if I need to make a repair while I'm at a convention, I crack one of these guys open, I make my repair, and then I throw it away so I don't have this bottle leaking in my kit. So what can we glue with super glue? Well, what can't you glue with it? Usually if I don't know what to use in a particular glue up, I'll try super glue first. A good example is things like this ceramic mug, which I dropped on the floor, but then super glued back together. Although if I'm honest, I probably wouldn't drink out of this again. And of course, super glue has a ton of applications for prop and costume making. Long before the days I discovered the joy of contact cement, I actually made all of my props and armor that were EVA foam using super glue. It isn't the cleanest or the best way to glue up your EVA foam, but it definitely works. In fact, I made a whole bunch of Mass Effect armor, including my Defender armor, using only super glue. Of course, nowadays for my EVA foam, I use contact cement. I still use super glue to tack down tiny details on EVA foam. The tip of the super glue is much easier to get fine control. Now, I've also heard that they make a flexible super glue, although I've never tried it, but I bet that would be really great for working with EVA foam. Of course, most plastics can be glued together with super glue. Whenever I am gluing together pieces of plastic, I make sure to sand both the mating surfaces to give that glue a fighting chance. I'll use super glue on PVC plastic, ABS, styrene, acrylic, and most other model making plastics. Just be aware that super glue can make clear plastics like acrylic get all cloudy. This makes it a poor candidate for gluing together lenses and visors. It is, however, fantastic for gluing together 3D printed parts. We've used super glue on every single one of our 3D printed prop, prop 
projects we've done so far and it works great. I'll also use super glue to seal the cut edges on MDF. As you know, when you cut MDF, the edge is super fuzzy and it's hard to sand it perfectly smooth. You can lay down a thick coat of glue and when you spread it over the surface, it will soak into the wood fibers. When that dries, you have a rigid surface that can be sanded perfectly smooth. Just know that when you're using a lot of super glue, try not to huff all those fumes. If your nose and eyes are stinging, go get some fresh air. It's possible to develop a sensitivity to CA glue. And if you're doing a ton of gluing, wear an appropriate respirator. Now, I wouldn't recommend using CA glue on insulation or styrofoam. It will actually melt it. All right, here are some additional tricks when using this wonderful adhesive. If I can, I usually prefer to spray the activator on one gluing surface and put the glue on the opposing surface. Then when the two surfaces meet, the glue will set right away. I also like to use super glue as a filler for resin kits and 3D prints. I mix up the glue with a little bit of baby powder, making a paste that can be spudged into small voids that need to be filled. Once it cures, it's rock solid and it can be sanded smooth. Did you know that you can use super glue as a clamp? If you're using an epoxy or wood glue, you know, something that takes a while to set up, you can add a little bit of super glue to the gluing surfaces to hold the whole piece together while the other glue dries. Now on the sewing side of things, you can use super glue to stop fabric from fraying and you can put a small dab of glue on any strings or knots to keep them from coming undone. And of course, finally, you can use CA glue to close up small cuts in your hands. Just ask Jimmy Duresta. Of course, you should have a proper first aid kit on hand in your shop. And if you have any major shop injuries, go ahead and get yourself some proper medical attention. Hey, that's everything I have on super glue for you today. I hope you learned something that helps you out on your next prop or costume build. Of course, everything I talked about today, including this first aid kit will be linked down below if you want to check it out for yourself. If you have any additional suggestions or questions, please leave those down in the comments. I do my best to get back to every single one of those. That's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next build. Hey, thanks for watching. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe so you don't miss any of our new weekly prop and costume tutorial videos. For more goodies, head over to our website where you'll find blueprints, tutorial books, articles, and more. We also have a second channel for our Q&A show and extra behind the scenes videos. Thanks again and happy crafting.